Hey Cappies, hope y'all are doing great. This is just going to be your reading for the week. You're still in the lead. Keep hitting that like button. I might be able to actually do all of them this week, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Uh, so take what resonates, leave the rest, and of course any numbers, colors, animals, maybe sign synchronicities or identifiers for you in your situation here, okay? We have a new oracle, <laughs> so we're going to be using the new Kali oracle, all right? I'll go ahead and pull that card for your guidance at the end here. All right, we will surprise ourselves later, although I don't know its meanings <laughs> yet. We are learning them, okay? So let's see what's in your situation spirit what's going on for capricorn any placements please and thank you what's happening this week for capricorn all right you have gibbous moon you're close to achieving your goal final phase before completion some tweaking needs to be done pay extra attention details and focus all right before I head into the tea leaf, I'm actually going to pull from Izzy's deck first and just see what you might be dealing with in terms of the energy and might be who's involved or what this is. Please and thank you. Let's get free spirit. Even some timing. Goals. Something before completion. Tweaking that needs to be done. Paying extra attention to details and focus. Okay. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, getting a sense this has a lot to do with your energy. Okay, overall, you have move, so moving forward with something, okay? Having some progress. All right, that's a bit of chariot energy. You might be dealing with cancer since I mentioned that. Hygiene is a big deal. This could literally be pampering yourself. This could literally be tidying up the house, organizing, that kind of thing. But this could also refer to your aura needing a cleanse, okay? Or maybe doing all of it since all is there. <laughs> you also have lucky number seven. Seven might be significant to you. This could also be with regards to friendships or at least close connections with these two doggos here. Um, dogs could also just be an identifier, all right? Um, whatever this is, it's definitely faded for you in a positive way, okay? It may behoove you to do a little extra energy clearing and cleansing and protection this week and get a move on with that. Just overall, okay? Speaking of all, not just your aura, but your space, you know, sort of feng shui things, right? Get to tell us what's going on here. Okay, let's get two from the other half stack, please. Spirit for Capricorn. Let's see what else needs a little bit of attention at the moment. What's going to be trying to get your attention this week? All right, thank you. All right, we have Wishbone, a wish is granted. So something you've wanted, okay? Something pertaining to wealth. Your tangible, like your assets and such. Angel, spiritual guidance, protection from harm. So follow your intuition, okay? Call upon all your ascended masters, your higher self for extra guidance on what to do next, okay? You follow your intuition. You also have Ram here. It could be dealing with an Aries, a stubborn, aggressive person. So there may be somebody that needs to be cleaned out of your life a little bit, or at least dealt with energetically different okay we'll figure that out here in a sec let's uh tell us more spirit i just had a left high pitch ear ring okay this is coming from your higher self your higher self might actually um have more guidance for you so definitely pay attention to what your higher self your divine self has to say in this situation okay you have Aquarius, could be dealing with an Aquarius. I know, 23. It's also the sign of communication. So something may need to be communicated. 40 with the water element, that's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I know, sensing, wow, that's a lot, Spirit. Okay, we'll do it. Just 
need to make some room here. Okay. Venus, number four, love. This could just be about any kind of relationship. Again, it could be a platonic. It could be familial. Something close. Something known. Not an acquaintance. Okay. We have Neptune, number 10. Ne ne uh, sacrifice. So this might be something you might have to sacrifice. It may be a close connection that actually is not a soulful connection. Or it may be needed a little disconnect at this time. Just at, for a temporary amount of time. Maybe karmic. Number 29, fifth house creativity. Okay, so their fifth house could be an Aquarius, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, and since I said, yeah, Cancer, maybe Cancer heavy. Uh, this could also be pertaining to a creative project that you're trying to work on. Uh, the fifth house is also connected to your sacral chakra, which is also where all your soul ties are. So this could be a soul tie. It could be familial. Um, so we'll get a sense of the connection you have with this person. All right, let's, let's figure that out next. What is the connection they have with this individual spirit? Let's get uh, three on it. Uh, that's way too many. Let's try that again. All right, here we go. A matured adult, so maybe they're not always like that, okay? Maybe they're just going through something that's causing them to be a little defensive, okay? Or you could be this matured adult. <laughs> All right, someone that's employed, okay? And one more. A sibling. I had a feeling it was some sort of close, close connection. Okay. So we'll get a sense too if it's karmic in nature. I don't think let's get one card for their energy as well as another identifier spirit. Please and thank you. And this could be any placement that's high aspect in their chart. Should you know that? Since it's assembly, it might be. All right. Ten of Pentacles, definitely family. <laughs> they could also just have wealth, right? Like they're like fiscally sound in life all right the letter l may be significant year of the rabbit and libra okay the snake might be significant all right so what's going on with them spirit what need what tweaking needs to be done with this individual all right 22, a military, that's the official card. Oh, oh, okay. They might have legal issues. Okay. That's why they'd be a little testy. Grief and sorrow. Okay. All right. That explains it. All right. Cool. Now, the prison card doesn't necessarily have to be prison prison. Uh, since it is standing next to the military card, it could very well be some kind of legal thing. Could also just be... Uh, mental imprisonment as well. The military card also does indicate some sort of mental health, uh, professional in one person's life or medical health. So it could be something medical or mental as well. Okay. So they're definitely all wrapped up in their emotions in this situation. I know sensing love. <laughs> all right. So let's get you some guidance as to what you could do about this. All right. Um, Let's get you an animal card. One, please, spirit. Dragonfly, inhabiting two worlds at once, air and water, day and night. Multidimensional travelers bringing, bring healing and light, protectors of the realm, lifting the veil of consciousness. So see, see through the eyes of the divine on this one. There may be something more to it, right? It may need a little bit of healing. It may need a little bit of light and love in this situation. A little bit of patience. Um, let's get you unshakable inner peace. All right, immediately. Uh, card 41, gratitude is the life force of peace. What are you thankful for? So maintain gratitude. That'll help keep the vibrational level high, okay? Let's see what else here. 
Okay, I'm gonna pull from the mermaids. And since energetic balancing is needed, we will also do chakras and masculine and feminine, okay, for you. This may shake you up because it's a closer connection, all right? Let's get three from the mermaids, please. Feelings, okay. Definitely sense your way through this. There may be more to it. Can you see that? All right, good. Contemplation. Definitely use your discernment and intuition here, okay? You're going to have to not re be reactive. Be more uh, thoughtful first with whatever you're dealing with with this person, okay? They may, tr they may trigger without knowing that they're triggering. Or maybe they do know and they're just being very defensive, right? And go with the flow, all right? This is an all divine order. Okay. Let's get three chakras, please, Spirit for Capricorn. <laughs> There's your creativity and sacral chakra number 10. So balance that out. Maybe channel it through creative pursuits. Okay. Uh, three, ground yourself. Okay, Earth Star Chakra is here um, with nurturing. So you may have to like approach it from a more nurturing perspective here. This is part of your purpose though, okay? And good communication here with the throat chakra. 22, 3, and 10 are on board. All right. Let's get one from the feminine energy side of things. Please and thank you, Spirit. Anything to work on or be confirmed of for Capricorn? All right, love it. You have Spider Woman Universal Connection here. So, this is definitely a connection that isn't karmic. This is a soulful con uh, connection, okay? Um, so, it's about just really trying to like work together uh, to heal. Try and put these cards away and like get out. Right, there we go. Um, so you'll know to be able to sense this through. This person probably is just going through a very, very hard time right now. Um, they just need a little bit of patience and gratitude and, and compassion at this time, okay? But feel it out. See how you feel about it. If you need to reestablish your boundaries, do so, okay? Cleanse your energy when possible. Anything else? Masculine energy, please. Ooh, we have two in the reverse. This could be them. Yep. Vishnu, balance, but in the reverse. So that would be imbalance and raw power. Maybe they might be not feeling very strong right now. Um, whatever they're going through mentally, physically, legally might be shaking them up quite a bit. And they feel rather out of place. Okay. And maybe it's something you're sensing as well. And it's making you feel a little off balance. So... Let's see here. Vishnu, Vishnu, Vishnu. Rectifying imbalance in your body, mind, and soul will reduce suffering and pain. The middle path is the best course of action. So Goldilocks it. <laughs> On the shadow side, trying to balance home and work, duty and freedom, indulgence and simplicity, need and greed is almost a never-ending tightrope we seem to walk. Vishnu invites us to be more aware of our imbalances and to seek to correct them. Often the imbalances we aren't really afraid of aware of, afraid of, maybe there's fears involved. Okay. Oof. Until they give us pain, that is, are the ones we truly need to change. For example, imbalance can manifest as illness, weight issues, bad habits, patterns of low self-esteem, prosperity issues, and addictions. Okay. So those could also be identifiers in this situation as well. All right. Raw, power, shadow side. There you are. Know that you have the power and it is real. This card is an invitation to be your most vital self and develop your power from the inside out. On the shadow, shadow side, power can corrupt those who do not channel it well. Abuses of power can occur anywhere, within families, the office, within governments, and it is damaging on so many levels. Ensure that you are not part of the problem or disempowering others. Corruption empowers just a few and is, of course, answerable to the laws of Ma'at and man. So they could be dealing with a lot of um, bureaucratic issues, either at the workplace, you do have wealth here that's involved, okay? 
They are employed, so maybe they're dealing with a lot too that's causing a bit of stress, okay? Um, and they could be snappy. We are in Mercury retrograde. We're also in Pluto retrograde as well. So this that energy could be affecting their behavior and um, and their frequency as well. Okay, but there's usually a purpose and a reason for it, right? Nothing happens to you; it happens for you. So it may be part of their process. Okay, um, and just to be aware of that. So wherever you see you could offer help, do so, or at least just be grateful and kind of like lead by example. You can do that without being pushy, right? Okay. Let's see. Let's get one from the Shapeshifters Oracle for you. The delicate fairy and her ferrets. Change is natural good, and yes, it can hurt. So maybe there's something changing going on at this time. That's very profound. Number 24. Okay, let's get a work your light for you, and then we'll go ahead and read the Kali. One, please. Priestess, how are you being called to step up and lead? So definitely lead by example, right? Okay. There's going to be changes. They're going to have to know how to handle it, so they're going to need you to kind of lead by example. And... Since Priestess showed up, I'm going to get one from Isis's deck, too, just, just for, you know, just for fun. <laughs> she always has the best advice. She kind of also clues in on what it's for. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Let's see. All right, you have the Knot of Isis. Part of your spiritual destiny involves a special relationship with a goddess. This means that not only do you have the important task of helping her thrive in this world, but you're afforded her power, protection, and abundance. You are now deepening your connection to the goddess. So this is part of your own spiritual upgrade as well. Love it. And this is a We'll get one from the Keepers of the Light, too, since we're deepening our connection with the goddess. And that goddess being Gaia. <laughs> earth connection. Be mindful of the planet. Come back to Earth. Stay grounded, okay? So maybe more earthbound, earthy things would be good for you at this time as well. Um, you know, maybe they might need a break and you can kind of bring them someplace that's in nature that might help them as well. That'd be a good idea. And your final guidance from Kali is number 33. Good news. All right. Love it. Also, Ascended Masters are guiding. Threes are very important for you at this time. Anahata Kali. Now, this is a very long excerpt, but I do want to read the whole thing, minus the healing at the end, okay? Just so I can learn the deck, too. <laughs> Anahata Kali, beautiful, powerful mother of the sacred universal heart who lives within our hearts as the wisdom and healing power of love. Your heart knows how to heal and how to open, how to break and repair itself to become stronger and wiser than before. Your heart cannot be contained or constrained by what has taken place. Your heart wisdom and empowerment are growing. Soon you shall have the wisdom and courage to accomplish something very important for your soul journey. Trust in the inevitable workings of divine love. Let your heart be at peace. The journey of the soul is the journey from the head to the heart. Anahata is the Sanskrit name for the heart chakra. Anahata Kali is the goddess who secures the awakening, transformation, and liberation of the heart. Love is her expression. When Kali Ma touches the heart, it becomes capable of love that is increasingly unconditional, fearless, and compassionate. Such empowerments often manifest through loss and betrayal. In responding to such challenges, we grow our heart's capacity for love, processing and healing emotions of grief, betrayal, and anger. Our heart becomes stronger through this process. The human heart is capable of overcoming enormous negativity. It is, it is an astonishingly powerful and beautiful temple of spirit. We can underestimate the extraordinary power of the heart by focusing on its sweetness, love, and light as though they were weaker than anger, fear, or the consuming intensity of grief. 
We can only begin to understand the spiritual worlds and how they operate when we let go of the human perspective. A human believes that the heavier and denser something is, the more powerful it is. A heavy emotion like anger or physical situation that appears gridlocked are given more weight than the intangible realms of spirit. Yet spirit is behind all things, in all things. So things that start in the physical actually start from the spiritual, right? <laughs> the 3D may weigh a lot, but it's actually pretty restricted. Okay. Being invisible does not impede its effectiveness. It, if anything, it enhances it. For something so seemingly invisible, love has unconquerable power. We affirm this in expressions such as love can move mountains or love will always find a way. Yet we are conditioned to believe that there is more power in what we can see and control rather than the spiritual power of love. Such conditioning pulls us away from heart connection into the fear-based belief system that we need to control things or there will be no benefit, no safety, no happiness. However, we can never be safe if we are disconnected from the spiritual home of the heart where all healing, wisdom, true guidance, spiritual protection, and regenerating vitality resides. The backlog of emotional pain stored in our hearts can sometimes cause us to shut down even when we know that in closing down our hearts, we lose out on love's joy and wisdom. We may go through the motions of living, but without the real emotional juice and revitalizing engagement with life. Kali Anahata brings a message from the Divine Mother that she is supporting you and healing your heart. She wants you to connect to more profound joy in life. As you trust yourself and trust in her, you can heal even the long-term karmic scars. You can learn to return to love, to be in love, to live the love within, within your every, ever beautiful heart. <laughs> For those who live from the heart space, it can be hard to remember that what it was like before. Yet many still live in such a way, driven by fear, plagued with anxiety, hardened through, living in a way that is oppressive to the spirit. And you may be seeing that as an example unfold in front of you with this sibling. Okay? So this could also just be a reminder of how far you've come. <laughs> they could be sort of a visual test for you, okay? The oracle asks you to acknowledge how far you've come. <laughs> Wasn't even looking when I said that. Okay, and where you would like to go, okay? Not so much in terms of external markers, but in terms of emotional freedom. If you've been focusing on healing a specific issue in your life, the oracle indicates you have the strength wisdom, and courage of heart to accomplish that. For those who have had their heart broken in love in spiritual communities by friends or family members, by God or life itself, the message here is that something deeper is taking place. Right? <laughs> deeper connection. All right. Lost my spot. Give me a sec here. There we go. The shattering of structures, even of ideals, gives the heart and the opportunity to break free and open up to a greater, more satis satisfying experience and expression of love, becoming non-defensive, softening, and opening to spirit with unconditional trust, and trust is there, right, places you in a position of astonishing protection, empowerment, and grace. Keep your heart open to the Divine Mother. Through that openness, the right thing shall emerge at the right time time so that may be the pay attention to details as well as some tweaking needs to be done right hmm all right the walls we build around our hearts need to be broken down so we can fulfill our sacred purpose and path trust that the pains of your past do not have a place in your future no matter what appears to be she knows the way through temper your fierce emotions without denying them Keep bringing yourself back to your center, again with that grounding, right? Continue to find the moderate and peaceful resting place within, even as you make radical progress on your path. The oracle predicts that successful completion of a time of spiritual initiation. Grace yourself with the gift of relief and trust that all is well. <laughs> and all will be well. <laughs> okay. There you go, Capricorn. Hopefully that helps. Uh, stay tuned. Also, there may be more little fine-tuning of guidance throughout the week as well, and follow your other placements, <laughs> whichever ones 
seem the best for this, okay? So if you are in fact dealing with your fifth house, maybe check that placement uh, or your Venus placement or Neptune because those were brought up as well, okay? There you go. Bye.